Recently, on June 13, 2025, Russia conducted large-scale tests of advanced laser-based air defense systems designed to counter unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, marking a significant step in enhancing its air defense capabilities. The tests, attended by First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Monturov, were organized by the Military Industrial Commission and the Ministry of Industry and Trade, with participation from leading defense enterprises, including Rostec and Rosatom. Conducted at a specialized site equipped with modern measuring equipment, the trials involve scenarios targeting various UAVs, from small commercial drones to complex models simulating reconnaissance and strike drones. The systems demonstrated their ability to neutralize drones effectively, confirming manufacturer specifications and validating development strategies for integrated defense systems to protect critical infrastructure. The tests are part of Russia's broader effort to develop a universal air defense system, as emphasized by President Vladimir Putin during a review of the state armament program for 2027 to 2036. Putin highlighted the need for innovative and adaptable air defense solutions to counter evolving aerial threats, particularly drones, which have become a significant factor in modern warfare. The successful trials paved the way for serial production and wider deployment of these laser systems, with results expected to refine existing models and enhance protection against modern air threats. Posts on X reflect enthusiasm for the technology, describing it as a next-gen air shield that burns drones out of the sky using pure energy without relying on missiles. These posts underscore the system's potential to revolutionize air defense by offering a cost-effective and precise solution to drone threats. However, the claims on X should be treated as inconclusive without official verification. Earlier, parallel reports indicate Russia has also deployed a Chinese-made laser system, the Silent Hunter, or low-altitude laser defending system, alas, to target Ukrainian drones in ongoing conflicts. Videos circulating on Russian Telegram channels since May 2025 show the Silent Hunter, a 10 to 30 kilowatts laser mounted on a vehicle, operated by the Kachevnik Special Operations Group. The system, equipped with radar and optical targeting, has reportedly downed drones at distances exceeding 1.3 kilometers, with capabilities to destroy drones up to 1.5 kilometers, and blind cameras up to 3 kilometers. While China denies providing lethal aid to Russia, the deployment of the Silent Hunter, also used by Iran and Saudi Arabia, suggests deepening military cooperation between Moscow and Beijing. Ukrainian intelligence and Western analysts, including Fabian Hinz from the International Institute for Strategic Studies, have noted similarities between the system and Russian service and China's Shen Nung 3000 anti-drone laser. Russia's focus on laser-based defenses aligns with global trends, as nations like Israel, the US and the UK develop similar systems. Israel's Iron Beam, for instance, has been used to intercept Hezbollah drones, while the UK tested a radio wave-based anti-drone system in April 2025. These developments highlight the growing role of directed energy weapons in countering low-cost, agile UAVs that challenge traditional air defenses. Russia's own laser weaponry including the Perezvat and Zadira systems has been in development, but public documentation of their combat use remains limited. Earlier reports from August 2023 noted successful tests of an unnamed Russian laser gun and plans to integrate laser complexes into the Pantsir air defense system were announced by Mantarov earlier in 2025.
The strategic context for Russia's push to enhance anti-drone capabilities includes recent Ukrainian drone attacks on Russian airfields, such as the June 1, 2025 Operation Spiderweb, which damaged over 40 aircraft, including strategic bombers. These attacks underscore the urgency of developing effective countermeasures. However, questions remain about the scalability, power supply and combat durability of Russia's laser systems, particularly in adverse conditions or against drone swarms. Western analysts urge caution in assessing Russian claims, noting that real-world performance depends on factors like cooling systems and operational reliability. In summary, Russia's recent tests of laser air defense systems, both domestic and Chinese origin, reflect a strategic response to the growing drone threat. The involvement of high-level officials like Manturov and the collaboration with Rostik and Rosatom signal a commitment to advancing and deploying these technologies. While promising, the system's effectiveness in large-scale combat and their integration into a broader air defense network remain under scrutiny with global developments in laser weaponry setting a competitive backdrop. The test results will be used to refine existing models and mass-produce installations that will nullify the Kyiv regime's attempts to harm Russian regions by launching UAVs. On the other hand, the West is also considering using lasers against drones, Former NATO commander in Europe Wesley Clark proposed Kyiv to arm Ukrainian armed forces soldiers with lasers to counter Russian optical drones and guided aerial bombs.